The Anchorage landfill contains a lot of trash. Mark Madden, the Solid Waste Services Director, has a good way of putting that large pile into perspective. It's got about uh, uh, the equivalent of about a 15-story building of trash. There's, there's about 180 feet of trash in, in some of the higher areas right now. At the Anchorage landfill, a lot of that trash is organic material. Madden says that means bacteria eat their way through Anchorageites' leftover lunches, discarded office supplies, and crumpled up junk mail. The bacteria take over, and when they start decomposing the trash, uh, they produce landfill gas. Landfill gas is about 50% methane. And that methane is a powerful greenhouse gas. Starting in 2006, the landfill needed to destroy the gas before it reached the atmosphere to comply with the EPA's Clean Air Act. Madden says that meant flaring. We were burning up so much um, basically fuel, uh, and it was, it was doing nothing for us. So by, by um, developing this power project, uh, we take the gas, which is considered a waste, and turn it into a resource. Now, instead of flaring, gas wells are drilled into the landfill itself, collecting the methane and using it to power five massive generators at Fort Richardson. They're actually originally designed as just kind of a, an auxiliary power plant, but um, as the thing has gotten bigger and grown, um, it's kind of becoming one of the, the more of the, the main power source than, than the auxiliary. The generators now cover 100% of Fort Richardson's electricity needs throughout the summer and contribute to about 60% of the base's wintertime electrical load. Madden says it's a source of electricity that will likely be around for many decades to come. If you look at the models, the gas production actually peaks about five to ten years after we quit putting trash into the landfill and then it'll probably be producing enough gas to continue operating at least 30 to 40 years after that. Which puts the expiration date on this project somewhere around 2080. The landfill has such a big mass that when you get into the middle it doesn't care that we're anywhere anywhere north of California because down in the middle of the landfill it's a good 140, 150 degrees year round. So, uh, and I think that's kind of why it, 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 we, we produce much more than the model predicted.